Hi, today I will show you 5 circuits that will prevent reverse polarity boom. I will explain every circuit and highlight pros and cons. At first I would like all of you who blew some circuit up to raise your thumb. Thanks! Also feel free to share with us how costly was your biggest boom. Let's go then! The easiest way to protect your circuit from reverse polarity is to put a diode in series with your uh, load. It's no brainer, it, it allowed to, to current flow one way, but it of course won't allow the current to flow the other way, that's how the diodes work, so that's probably the easiest way to protect your uh, circuit from reverse polarity. But what's the uh, downsides of it? The voltage drop of the diode of a 0.7 volt or a 0.3 on a short key diode, it will produce a high power loss. Also, on a low low voltage devices, it might prevent them from even starting up. With the upsides, it's definitely easy to use and it's cheap. It costs you as much as a one diode, so yeah, it's easy. The second circuit I would like to show you is a diode in parallel, which is a crowbar circuit. Uh, basically how it works is uh, you put your um, diode in reverse, so when you connect the polarity right way round, it, the diode doesn't conduct any current. The fuse must be rated slightly above, above the uh, normal load, so it won't blow when a normal load is uh, attached. Yeah, but when you polarize it the other way around, the diode starts to conduct and it actually short circuits and blow the fuse. That's the... Uh, that's how it works. The good point about this circuit is uh, it doesn't have a voltage drop, which means it, it's no, no power, power losses. But the bad points are it requires an ad additional component, which is a fuse. Another bad point is uh, the fuse basically blows when it's put in reverse, so every time it happens you need to replace the fuse. And also bad point about this, it's not 100% bulletproof, because uh, when you reverse the polarity, the diode actually with a load it creates voltage divider so there is still some current going through the load that's something you have to have in mind when you're gonna utilize this circuit another circuit is bridge rectifier a full bridge rectifier which will uh, actually work regardless of a uh, polarity which you attach to the uh, to the circuit it will always produce um, positive here and the negative here. The downside is the voltage drop of 1.4 volt or 0.7 volt for Schottky diode, which is a double voltage drop of a uh, diode in series uh, circuit. It has nice features, but again, you pay pay the price for it with very high uh, power losses. In another circuit we're gonna use a N-channel MOSFET to protect from reverse polarity. This time we're gonna put N-channel MOSFET the other way round than we usually put it, which means source of the uh, MOSFET is on the actually connected to the load side and the drain is connected to the, uh, to the ground. It's actually quite easy and a quite good circuit. The good point about this solution is very low RDS on which basically means it's low low resistance we put in series with a uh, with load. The bad, bad point is it might require Zener diode to clamp reverse voltage and it's not always suitable for uh, measurement circuits which use a uh, ADCs or uh, some other measurement circuits because it, it actually puts 
resistance in a ground path not all components like it also if we need common ground it might not be uh, the best solution you can also use a uh, n channel mosfet on a on the high side which is uh, on a positive rail but it will require charge pump to actually activate it and it requires more hassle and the last circuit I'm gonna show you is P channel MOSFET on a high side which uh, solves a few problems which uh, N channel MOSFET on the low side had but it usually the P channel MOSFETs are, are slightly more expensive again we, we connected the um, other way round than usual the good sides it, it, it has a low RDS on which means low resistance it's still slightly higher than a N channel MOSFET but but it's not not too bad and the bad sides it might require zener diodes to clamp reverse voltage and they're usually more expensive than N channel MOSFET it's not extensive list of uh, ways to protect your uh, circuits but I think the uh, the ones I show you are most common cheap and they do the jobs if you learned something please give it thumbs up as always thank you very much for watching and i'll see you next time